All right, so I wanted to quickly do a tutorial on the uh, NBA 2K10 jersey tool. Um, obviously, it was made for 2K10. Uh, it allowed you to not only edit the uniform textures that couldn't be edited uh, with the mod tool, but it could also let you uh, deal with the bitmap files or textures that are in some of the if files, something else that the mod tool does not allow you to do. And unfortunately, that's still the case in 2K12. There's still some textures we can't edit. And one of the main ones that I needed to be able to edit was the environmental map uh, shading textures. And if I load up my uh, Rucker Park Night here, this is this is my version of Rucker Park Night that you can see in the uh, street mods. Um, so I loaded up here, and you know there's a bunch of textures and stuff. Uh, number five here has a bunch of subtextures, and it also has the models for the uh, court itself. But it also has these environment maps, as you can see right here. And what this does is it adds the uh, shadowing to the court itself. Now it says bitmap right here. You know, 124 by 124, but when I export it, it, it only wants to do DDS files, which is a problem because if it only likes DDS files and you try to export and import it, and it, it, it doesn't work very well. Um, the, the the tool will actually corrupt the file, which is you know again why you want to back up. So we're not going to use the mod tool for this. We're going to use the 2K10 Jersey Editor, uh, made by Jor on. I think, I think it's George, I'm not sure, um, 1980 from uh, the Modding Way site. Uh, he does great tools, he's done a great job uh, with his tool. So uh, we're going to go ahead and select this jersey file, which really, it's a court, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna open it up. Now this stuff, it doesn't matter at all. I mean, and, and it's not even supported in 2K12 uh, jerseys. So don't even bother with this. We want the textures. And here is where you know it's all the textures of the court and it's all listed right here they're not split up into subfiles it's just a big long list of all the textures in the thing so I want texture 149 which you can't see at all oh is that it no it's 149 hmm I may have loaded the wrong court I believe I did. I did load the wrong court. So give me one second here. And because uh, I used the day court as the uh, base for my night mod, which is what I'm trying to show you here. So I'll just load, <laughs> load up the day court, which is again, I apologize for that. I screwed up. Didn't plan well. So we want texture 149. Now it looks blank. And that's fine, but there is a texture here. So to save it, all we have to do is click on it. And it will save the bitmap file rather than a DDS file. So, okay. And that's great. It saves it right here. And what's nice is I have a modified version right here, which I edited. And all you do is click and drag, and it will import. And it, it, these are normal maps that, or environmental maps that I made and they're clear so you're not going to see anything here unfortunately you know, it's a bad example I apologize I mean, this can also be used in courts if you want to change the finals logos if you want to change the playoffs logos um, and also the uh, reflection maps um, also use these bitmap textures that cannot be edited with the mod tool so that's all it is with the jersey editor you just click to save it and you click and drag into the texture to import it back in um, next up, I am going to take a quick look at the 3DM tool, um, and because that's that one's a little bit more confusing since it's in Chinese, and we'll go from there. See you there.